Hello, and in the last tutorial we went over, um, in our last XHTML tutorial we went over how to create a really simple website and the page we started on was index.html. We just started on the concept of basic tags or um, whatever you're going to do in your HTML but yeah be tags and we just created two pages so that we could also move on to the concept of an attribute by um, creating a link that when we click it it goes to another web page so we created a link um, in, the, in this tutorial we're going to expand our knowledge by adding an image to our, our web page so if we're looking at our index.html file here it's pretty it's pretty plain right um if we we can see that there's no images on there because we haven't told our html to load any images if we look at coder um and our index.html file we've got a paragraph tag for the hello element a h1 tag for site title some text in a strong element um, and we've got a link with that href attribute but how do we add an image well um, w we put our opening tag and you know just here if we put in our uh, directory we've got this snakes.jpg this is what we're going to be Im embedding so we put the tag name for this is img short for image but that tag name on itself doesn't tell us anything about um, the thing so wh wh what we do is use two more attributes and the img tag has different attributes like the link tag has href attribute what we need to do for the image tag is something called the src attribute and we need to set that equal to the path of our image so assuming that it's in the same folder like our images we're just gonna type the name of the file name in the href at in the src attribute and src stands for the source of our um file so we're just gonna put the file name in there we'll get out of our attribute and that's and that's all you need to um to put our image in there we we could just put the closing tab but because we're writing XHTML, because we want our site to be valid and because we want to be good web designers we need to put an um, extra attribute so before the um, at the end of that attribute we need to um, write another attribute and this attribute we need to do this time is specific to images that's called the alt attribute ALT And what we need to do with that is set it equal to whatever um whatever um something's gonna see who doesn't read the image like for example um Google doesn't read images so that needs alt tag to be able to tell what the images are and index them. Blind people who are using screen readers need alt tags. If if the server can't find your files and it loads your web page and the browser can't get to them, then the alt tag display. An alt tag is I just use for a whole bunch of stuff. So in the alt tag we need to describe what um the picture's about and we and we need to do that to write valid HTML. Um so I'm just gonna put
snakes. Um. Ladders. Balls. Because that's what it is. It, it's that's a good old tag now if we ended this first um thing with our this first img with a closing img tag um that that wouldn't work because the 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 thing doesn't need to sandwich any more data it's got all the data it needs with these two attributes so, XHTML, the writers of it, came up with a clever thing, because every time an HTML closes, but for tags that don't need any more data in between the two tags, all we do is put a slash, and then our closing tag. So that's like going, that from an IMG tag, that's the equivalent of going slash A, or slash H1, or slash p or slash whatever the tag name is and closing the tag at the end of all the attributes you just put a slash and then you're closing carrot if we save that and we go ahead and refresh and um, there's there's nothing there um, So that's all saved as smakes.jpg, that's why. It's not spelled correctly. And if we go on reload, that displays our, our image. And this could be an image of anything you want. So, uh, in this tutorial we've learnt the HTML for embedding an image into our website. In the next tutorial we're going to learn what doc type is. Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to the next one.